Well, I thought I'd like to share with you how I'm living in North Carolina versus Massachusetts. So I'm going to show you my house and then I'm going to show you the area that I see about every day. And it's really kind of nice. So here we are. Welcome to my home. And this all brick ranch sits back off the road. It has a nice concrete circular drive. In Norton, I'd have to pay about 450,000 for this house on nearly an acre of land, but in North Carolina, $220,000. Can you believe it? That's the price of a mobile home in Massachusetts. <laughs> As Ernie Bach Jr. would say, come on down. Looking back to the street and the circular drive, by the way, nobody uses blacktop driveways down here. Must be the heat. But you can see a fence there across the street surrounding immaculate subdivisions. So if I go across the street and I look over the fence, I see a beautiful pond with a water fountain that runs 24 seven. I suppose that's used to aerate the water and keep the turtles and the fish alive. Most of those homes that you see are in the low 200s. That's unimaginable for a Massachusetts guy. Here's a aerial view of the property, the house, the circular drive, and across that street, that white fence, and then that pond with the fountain. I have two neighbors there to the right, as you can see, and through the trees, who cares? I can't see them anyway. This is the view from my full-length deck out back. I see trees to the rear there, and off to the right, more trees, and there's a little brook that runs in underneath those trees. This view is toward one of only three neighbors' homes, which is that next deck that you see dead ahead. Finally, the backyard here is just great. It's nice and quiet, and my son's lawn care guy cuts all the grass here and out front, and he trims everything for only $50, which is unbelievable. He's formerly from Massachusetts, used to do the lawns at the Red Sox uh, Stadium, it takes him about three hours to do everything, and for 50 bucks, I'm shocked. Here's the view of the back of the house, French doors here leading into my office, and further down, another set of French doors leading into the living room. Now the triple windows that you see there is where the dining room is, and way down at the end of the deck, to the right there is my bedroom. The front entry is really nice too. A mobile home in Massachusetts doesn't get to enjoy this. That's a $220,000 mobile home. All brick home, arched uh, entryway here, palladian window above, storm doors on every door. I love this place. Here's the view of that same entryway from the foyer. High ceilings in this house, especially in the foyer. It's gotta go up about 12 feet anyway. And then this room there for my new plant that I bought and uh, a photo on the wall of Boston Harbor. Then there's the large, and I mean large, eat-in kitchen with tile floors and loads of cabinets. I do plan to paint those cabinets white, put a Formica countertop on and put gray six inch by 36 inch ceramic tiles in the uh, kitchen. Uh, they look kind of like wood. I'll show you that in the next photo. This is what I mean, those kind of long, it's ceramic tile, but they look like wood. Then my cabinets would be painted white like that. But for now, I like it just fine. The lady who sold me this house left the washer, the dryer, and refrigerator, and even that toaster under the cabinet to the left of the doorway that leads into the living room. So I didn't have to buy anything. The roof and the AC uh, and furnace, all new too. This view of the kitchen shows how many cabinets there are. Probably 98% of them I'll never use. To the left there is the entry into the dining room and to the right is the entryway into the living room. So I get to see the dining room from the kitchen or the living room. Here is the dining room with the kitchen off to the left there and the living room behind me. There are hardwoods in here has a triple picture window that overlooks the deck that we saw. No furniture yet, but that's the last priority for me. 
I did find some beauties on Craigslist here for really cheap money though, like under $800. This is the laundry room just off the kitchen where the lady left me these fairly new Whirlpool appliances. The dryer is actually natural gas, which is good and cheap, as is the heat, natural gas, which I've never turned on yet, but the home inspector did. To show how large the kitchen is, I took this photo from the living room. The laundry there is to the left, as you can see, and so is the garage door off to the left. To the right by the table there is my home office that I just converted. This actually used to be kind of like a mudroom or something, but now it's my office. And it looks like this. I use this room to do my bills and check my mail on the laptop there on the desk. Or I can wander out onto the deck now and then. My living room is about three times bigger here than my Norton Ranch. That was uh, half the size of this house. I repositioned the cable wiring and added the built-in look wall for the 55 inch TV above the gas log fireplace. Johnny Boy sits in the command central green chair there. By the way, I loaded every stick of furniture into the pack rat container in Norton and then I unloaded every piece of furniture myself here in North Carolina. Still kicking. The right hand door there leads to the deck. Here's a close up of the TV area that I just finished. It even has LED lighting behind that TV there. I freshly painted a contrasting color on that wall and the surround uh, around the fireplace. Very high ceilings here too, about nine feet. This is what that wall and the living room looked like uh, when the former owner had it. Her glass tube TV is off to the right and I had to move all that stuff, the wiring and everything else to that fireplace wall. Here's the view from the TV area back toward the front foyer. The kitchen is off to the right and the hallway leading to three bedrooms and two baths is off to the left. Here's one of the two hallways. This one leads to my bedroom with a full bath. The hall to the right leads to another full bath and two more bedrooms. So we'll show you my bedroom first. It has a double tray ceiling. That's kind of nice. The fan there is fantastic for sleeping at night, believe me. Three windows brighten the room and my view is of the backyard, all the trees and the little brook and all that stuff. Behind me is a walk-in closet. I've actually never had a walk-in closet, believe it or not, so I kind of like this one. I used to have to stuff my shirts into a dresser. That wasn't any fun. This is where I will run and hide, by the way, in case of thunderstorms. I'm a chicken. I'll admit it. My full bath has two sinks with marble tops, a huge mirror, and six lights. I changed all of them into LED lights to save on electricity. And with the AC running all day and night, pretty much, and all the electric uh, that I use, it only runs about 100 a month, so I was kind of surprised at that too. My heating bill should be almost non-existent. My neighbors laughed at me actually when they saw me <laughs> dragging in the snowblower from Massachusetts. There's also a large bathtub in this master bath, which I will never use, and a shower, which I will always use. So it's nice. Although there is a blocked glass window above the tub there, I added a Venetian blind over it. Looking back at the bedroom, you see my view as I step out of the bathroom. And there's my new adjustable bed that I bought from Mattress Farm locally used to be Sleepy's. It's actually bigger than my Norton bedroom, which I like too. This second hallway leads down to that second full bath dead ahead off to the immediate right that you can't see is the second bedroom. And then there is the third bedroom, which is now my green screen studio. Uh, can you tell it's a green screen room by that green color? I guess I've been waiting about three or four years to build an actual green screen room, so I did. I converted that third bedroom into this green screen studio where I can do all of my YouTube videos. Now, once I buy a new camera, I can do the YouTube videos. The old Sony just doesn't cut it anymore, but it's a $100 camera. What do you expect? I need to get 
a uh, new Canon 70D, it's called, which runs about 1300. Then I can do the fun stuff that uh, I always have wanted to do and like to do. Here's the view from where I do my country music singing or some Elvis songs, whatever. And it looks into the control room, which has all of the sound equipment and computers. This is the second of the three bedrooms. My daughter Shannon should be visiting me soon enough, so she'll stay in here. The closet is double-sized. It's a, it's a great room. Nearing the end of my tour of some of the things I see and do here in North Carolina is the garage, looking at it as I step into it from the kitchen. Plenty of room for the car and the motorcycle, and tools are everywhere. From the garage entry, now we can see that New England Patriots blanket hanging there. And actually my Massachusetts license plate is off to the right there, you just can't see it. Uh, I'm never gonna be a Carolina Panthers fan. I'm a Tom Brady's guy. So to the right of that are the trash barrels that they do pick up down here. And to the right of that is a gas hot water heater and plenty of toys. And in the foreground, there's the, my new toy, the motorcycle. I added those saddlebags so I can carry some groceries or hardware to and from uh, different shops that I visit almost every day. Uh, the bike gets about the same mileage as a Prius, 50. Now when I travel around town in the car or on the motorcycle, I get to shop at Dollar Tree, which you can see here. It's only 2.8 miles from my house. To the left of that is a place called Jack's Pizza, the best Italian pizza you could ever taste. To the right of the Dollar Tree, which I love to shop at, is the Food Lion. Uh, they have everything that a food chain would have. Uh, it's a little more expensive than Market Basket was up in, when I visited them up in Rainham, but it is close to home, less than three miles for this entire shopping center. In the same plaza is Firestone. That's where I can get the oil changed or any little things I have to have done to the car. Tough to see that sign there, but this is Route 74 called Independence Highway, if you will. This is called the Sharper's Delight Strip because every conceivable restaurant or store is here. Lowe's, all my stores are here. Sonic Drive-In, Red Lobster, Golden Corral, Arby's, all the stuff that I used to see in TV ads back in Massachusetts, but I couldn't find them anywhere. Now, they're all within three miles. See, here's Lowe's, right up the street. How about gas prices? I'm not sure what they are in Massachusetts, but as of July 11th, this one's called Kangaroo Gas. I guess you have to hop into the gas station. But Kangaroo Gas is selling for under two bucks. Again, I'm not sure what it was in Massachusetts when I left, I think it was around 217. Finally, my bucket list is complete when I bought this motorcycle. I was kind of surprised to see that I had no problem riding it anywhere. It's been a couple years since I was on a bike, but I do ride it almost every day as the next short video will show me coming home. Home, home, just sounds funny. I can't believe that I now live in North Carolina. I live like a king because everything down here is so affordable for a guy living only on social security now. No more real estate. I hope Obama doesn't screw that up. Finally, where my son and I go and my grandkids go to this place called the Monroe Aquatic Center and uh, Fitness Center. And uh, this only costs $15 a month to join this thing. It's unbelievable. But here's the outside of the building. Here is uh, one of two pools. This one is outside. Um, big umbrellas there where you can relax, bring a lunch, take it easy, take a swim. Then there's the indoor pool, which is kind of cool. Been in there before, that's for sure. And uh, that's how I live down here in North Carolina. Nothing but uh, fun, relaxation. It's great. Eat anywhere you want. It's beautiful.